Morning and welcome back to another video and today is the five best classes for gold farming. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so I get this question quite a lot and this is primarily about different types of classes that people want to play for gold farming and the most common question is what class should I use for gold farming and which is the best basically. So in this video we're pretty much just going to go over five of the best gold farming classes that I personally think, in my opinion, of gold farming in general. So that being the case, let's get into number one. Number one on our list is the Mage. The Mage is a quite well adept class and it can be used for a wide variety of different types of farms, such as the Tome of the Polymorph farm, which is a Mage specific farm that you can use with your mage. Along with that, it has a high mobility using its double blink in order to get across places faster. And along with that, using its AOE ability to actually just burst down the different types of mobs that you do on a regular farm. This can go hand in hand with things such as the Crimson Ropelin farm where you have to use a lot of AOE quite a bit and this is where you would have to move just a little bit in order to respawn the mobs and just keep bursting them down with something like Arcane Blast. Personally, my personal preference for farming up things with a mage is primarily being an Arcane Mage using the abilities of my Double Blink and or using the Arcane Blast in order to use the Arcane Blast in order to create a high amount of AoE pretty damn fast as it's on a low cooldown. Other than that, it does have some other abilities such as going invisible, which can help in like the Blackwing layer like farm. And this is where you gather up most of the mobs inside the actual raid and you burn them down with magic and then the mobs that are magic resistant, you can then go invisible and then they will all respawn. You can do this every now and then for getting high amounts of transmog. I've never actually covered this farm, but I may do in the future. Never know, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, the mage is a simplistic class that you can use in order to farm with. That being the case, let's move on to number two. Number two, we have the rogue. The rogue is a high mobility class such as with its sprint and if you are using a wargan rogue such as myself you have an additional speed increase as well the rogue has the ability of being able to prolong its invisibility such as stealth and you are able to bypass certain mobs and or do pick locking farms such as the worn troll dice or the loaded gnomish dice now these ones are rogue specific farms such as what I said with the mage one with the Tome of the Polymorph. But these dices can be pickpocketed off a few mobs in the open world. Such as if you go to Aldham and you pick lock the guards that are over near the temple area you can actually have a chance of getting the loaded gnomish dice. This is a toy and you can actually sell this like on the auction house. Um, obviously, I'm not really going to go into that much in farms, but we're going to talk more about the mobility and all that jazz of these types of characters. So, the rogue also has pit locking, which can, if you are doing transmog farms, you can open up different types of chests, such as locked chests in particular. Now, these have a higher chance of dropping some really, really decent transmog, and preferably, I and preferably I do enjoy using a rogue mainly for this type of farming. This is because he has enough ability to do transmog farming because he's got the movement speed increases. He can also stealth if he needs to, to drop the aggro if he pulls something that he shouldn't really pull. And along with that, he can also open up all of the chests. I find that the Rogue is a very simplistic class to use and probably if you are starting out I would recommend just sticking with a Rogue and as it's quite well adept in all aspects of gold farming so to speak. Coming in at number 3 is my most favourite class and that is the Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter primarily is more of a transmog farming character. Um, they have the sprint abilities in order to get around faster. 
They also have their gliding abilities so they can get down from high ledges and this is quite helpful when you're farming out different types of dungeons that primarily most people don't do because of like different height restrictions and the case of how long it would take. With the Demon Hunter, you can just jump off the edge, glide down, kill the mob, kill yourself, and go back to the instance and reset. This is when you like jump in the lava once you kill the Grimax guy, which is in the lower Blackrock Spire, for the plans of the Arcanite Champion. No, no, this is, this is when you go for the Arcanite Reaper. Now, these plans are pretty simple to do, and the Demon Hunter makes it a very, very easy class in order to take out these mobs. Along with that, Demon Hunters have a wide variety of different types of AoE abilities, and I find them to be probably one of the best ones in order to farm up raids, dungeons, and any really instanced type farming, so to speak. This is because they can get around the, the actual area pretty damn fast. And because of their AOE abilities, I find them to be a great fit for gold farming. Along with that, I would say that the Demon Hunter has a little bit of an uptick when it comes to sustain. This is because of their passives, which cause like little bit of health pools to just drop everywhere. And you can pick them up while you're fighting. I find this to be quite helpful when you're doing higher tier raids and dungeons for transmog or gold and battle pets. This is so you can pull up more things and not die. I find this to be quite helpful when actually just rounding up mobs as it reduces the time it takes to take on one of these mobs. Now granted you can also go as your DPS class for a Demon Hunter and or you can go as the tank form. I primarily go as the tank form as pretty much I gather up a lot and a lot of mobs when I'm farming with my Demon Hunter. The Demon Hunter in particular I usually do the Religion type dungeons and raids and that's mainly because of their sustain. I can run through there and I know that I can pull a 10 ton of stuff and not die. I find this to be quite helpful when I'm actually trying to farm up stuff and primarily I would say is a pretty damn good pick in all honesty. But that being the case, high mobility, amazing AoE and all round a great farming class if you are wanting to do things like transmog farming or specific item farming where you need to go into an instanced area and kill a specific mob because you can get there a lot faster than you conventionally would with a lot of other different types of classes. Now along with that let's move on to number four which is the monk. The monk is a great class mainly because of its ox statue. Now the ox statue in particular gathers up all of the mobs and keeps the aggro upon it. This gives you the ability in order to just round up mobs and burn them down where you stand. Now, monks are used in a lot of two times four groups for infinite respawn farms, and this is because of their ox statue, because they are able to gather up a load of mobs in the specific area, and then everyone else in the two times four can burn them down. Along with that, the monk does also have the ability of AoE and has a high amount of burst damage. This is great for doing different types of farms, such as, for instance, the Coral Reef Farm, which is in Najdatar, and also the Crimson Welpling Farm, which is located in the wetlands. I do find that these types of instant respawn farms are most best suited for a monk type class, mainly because of their AoE and their and their ox statue. Have a high amount of movement speed increases, which I find primarily quite helpful in the grand scheme of things. Now this gives them a wide variety of different types of aspects that they can use, and personally I find them to be the most efficient when actually farming 
besides number one, which is the Druid. Now coming in at last is the Druid, and I personally love the Druid mainly because of its simplistic forms of its movement. This is so for mining and herbalism, you can also transform into your travel forms, which I'm showing on the screen right now, pretty damn fast, and just keep transforming, falling, transforming, and not only that, you don't have to buy yourself a Sky Golem or one of the other mounts that lets you herb and mine from it. The travel form for your druid will let you pick herbs and not dismount. This is a great way for herbalism as druids are seemingly one of the best classes in order to farm up different types of herbs and or ores as they are able to literally bypass the loading time in order to mount up, so to speak, than other conventional classes. Along with that, they do have a wide variety of different types of AoE abilities, which is in their cat form and or their boomkin form. When you go into a 2x4 group, it's better to go in as a boomkin and just moonfire and tag all the other different types of mobs. But if you are using a character such as for me, and I'm in doing one of these transmog farms right now, and I can just use my thrash ability in order to kill all of the mobs seemingly with no effort. And to be honest, I find this to be quite helpful. Now, obviously we've just killed all of those mobs, but we've got a pack over here. So I will use my tiger's dash in order to get over there pretty damn fast. Now, I can also have the option of mounting up. Now I do have my burst abilities with my cat form in order to speed up my movement speed within the, a set amount of time. Now this is great for transmog farming as well and to be honest I find that these characters to be one of the best classes in order to actually farm with mainly because they have a high amount of AoE ability and that is in melee or ranged. They also are able to tag mobs they do have an ability called Soothe, which can tag a mob but not kill it. So that is great for rounding up different types of packs of mobs. And along with that, they have self-healing and have a great travel form in order to do your herbing and mining. And just easy maneuverability when it comes to utilizing your abilities in order to do your farming. This is why I always pick the Druid as one of the best classes in order to do your farming with and this is primarily why I love the druid so much because it has such a wide variety of different types of utilities that I can use in order to actually do my farming more effectively. So, theory, so realistically I find that the druid is pretty much the best class in order to do gold farming with and then Obviously, you've got your monk, you've got your demon hunters, you've got your rogues and your mages. But really, the druid is most definitely one of the best classes in order to use. Now, other than that, that is pretty much what I've got to say for today. I hope that you like this video. If you disagree with me with the classes, please put it in the comments down below. I will actually respond to every comment this time. And that being the case, I shall see you on the next video, which will be on Wednesday. Have a take it easy guys and have an awesome day.